It's really weird not to have a hometown. My hometown basically is wherever I live at the current time. My dad was in the Navy, and so we moved around all the time. So when you're a Navy kid, you're always the new kid at school. And that led to a lot of bullying, a lot of feeling ostracized. More than anything, I just wanted to know that I mattered and that I belonged somewhere. So I'm 19, I'm about to be a, a sophomore in college, and I find myself at this Young Life camp working for three weeks. And at this point, I am not a Christian. I'm on my way, but I am not there yet. Jesus was hounding me, hunting me down, but I was not a follower of Jesus. And the first night I'm there, I end up talking to this high school kid, and he said, oh, I'm not really into all this God stuff. I said, no, no, dude. You can't be listening to your friends. You just got to go for it. You got to do you. You got to follow Jesus. If you want to follow Jesus, do it. So a couple days later, I get this letter from that same kid that said, I gave my life to Jesus that night after talking with Mike. And I was blown away. And for some reason, somehow, at that moment in my life, at age 19 in August of that year, I became a follower of Jesus. 100%. I was a changed person. And someone actually told me one time, they said, Mike, when you were talking to that kid down by the water, you were talking to you. So the most amazing thing now is that I am able to use my story of growing up, feeling like I didn't belong, getting bullied, getting pushed around, and help young people around the country as a professional youth speaker who goes into public schools and sometimes Christian schools and to student events, sometimes Christian events, sometimes just regular events, and tell kids about their value as human beings. I get to say what God is telling them about their value. So I get an email from a girl the other day. I had just spoken at her school. She emailed me that night and said, Mike, this morning I was thinking about suicide again, and I've tried to commit suicide a few times and then you walked into my school and now everything's different. Now I have hope, now I have a future, now I am owning the cards that I've been dealt and I'm gonna do the best with what I've got. And I love that story because she has found light. And basically I tell kids all the time, I say, I do not change you. Because they'll say, Mike, you changed my life. I say, I don't change you. The truth changes you. My name is Mike Hall, and I've been ransomed.